Hi everyone, today let us learn displacement reaction. Those reactions in which one element takes the place of another element in a compound are known as displacement reaction. Other names for displacement reaction is single replacement reaction or exchange reaction. So let us understand the general mechanism or the general uh, equation. So we have an element A reacting with Bx <coughs> to give rise to B plus Ax. So here A is a metal and the condition for displacement is that we should know that A should be more reactive than B. Only then A can displace B from Bx. That is the rule for displacement reaction. So here are some equations. Magnesium reacting with copper sulphate uh, giving rise to magnesium sulphate and copper. So here we should understand students that magnesium is when we look at the reactivity series then magnesium is more reactive than copper. Hence magnesium which is taken in solid re displaces copper from copper sulphate which is taken in the aqueous solution to give rise to magnesium sulphate in aqueous and copper solid. Similarly, zinc when it reacts with copper sulphate gives rise to zinc sulphate and copper. Here again zinc is more reactive than copper. Only then zinc can displace copper from copper sulphate. And another example would be iron reacting with copper sulphate. So here when you look at these three examples, all the three, that is all the three metals, magnesium, zinc and iron are more reactive than copper. Hence, all these three metals can uh, displace copper from copper sulphate. So here is one example that is uh, iron reacting with copper sulphate. So now on the left side, you can observe the aqueous solution of copper sulphate. So the color of copper sulphate is blue color and iron nail, we all know the color of it is usually, met metals usually are grayish in color or they have the metallic color. On reaction, okay, what happens is iron, because iron is more reactive than copper, iron will displace copper from copper sulphate. So what exactly happens is iron, okay, from the nail that is present in the nail, moves to the solution and from the solution you have copper copper gets deposited on iron so here what you can observe the color of um, iron nail here would it is a metallic color here but here we, when you closely look at this um, iron nail it is brown color so this brown color is nothing but obtained from the copper from uh, that is copper uh, which is uh, present in the solution gets deposited on iron and vice versa iron from the nail moves towards the solution. So this is uh, example for displacement. So displacement reaction usually provide um, distinct uh, color change as you can see here there is a color change from blue to green. So blue is uh, indicating that there is copper in the aqueous solution as copper sulphate. And green is indicating that there is iron now as iron sulphate in place of copper. Okay, so this re reaction mainly um, depends on the uh, reactivity series. So here are some of the examples uh, wherein reaction does not take place. So here when you look at copper reacting with iron, in both of them uh, there is copper reacting with uh, iron and copper reacting with zinc. And we uh, know that copper is less reactive than iron and copper is less reactive than zinc. So hence, copper uh, cannot displace uh, iron from iron sulphate. Similarly, copper cannot displace zinc from zinc sulphate. Hence, no reaction in either of the two. So this is the reactivity series. So here as you can observe, uh, the reactivity increases from gold to potassium. It means uh, potassium is the most reactive and the least reactive is gold. So hydrogen is taken as standard. Okay, hydrogen is taken as standard and the reactants, uh, sorry, metals above uh, hydrogen are uh, more reactive and the metals uh, below hydrogen that is copper, uh, mercury, silver and gold are less reactive. 
so the displacement reaction is primarily dependent on the reactivity series thank you